I'm Meg Mike the Movie Man. Get over here. Today, I'm back with another mega ranking for you all. Today, I'm going to be ranking my top five video game movies of all time. Yes, I'm going to rank them from the worst to the best. This is just my own personal ranking, so I know your list would look different. Go ahead and leave in the comments below how you'd rank your favorite video game movies. But without further ado, let's get started. He definitely trusts you. So at number five, we will have Rampage. Yes, the movie that stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He makes every movie better just with his charisma alone. And this is a fun monster movie. So this movie isn't perfect by any means, but for a movie based on the video game Rampage, they actually did a pretty solid job here. I think all the creatures look really cool. I like how they try to make that bond between the gorilla creature and the rock. So I like that setup in the beginning there. And then just to see these monsters go rampaging through the city, I think it's a fun time. Seeing that monster destruction reminds me of a Godzilla or King Kong movie. And it's pretty epic scale within this one. So even though it's kind of cheesy at certain parts and the the believability is definitely in question. I think it's decent enough. So I'm going to put Rampage here at the bottom at my number five spot. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. I'm sitting right next to you. And then at number four, we'll have Uncharted. Yes, Uncharted was a pretty decent adaptation of the video game characters. Now, it wasn't perfect. I do think the cast was too young for their characters, but I think they have some of the personality traits of the characters, so that's the most important part. And as they age up, as we keep going in this franchise, I think that's going to work great. But you get a fun little adventure treasure hunting story here. It's kind of like an Indiana Jones movie. Not as good as Indiana Jones, but it's still fun. And you get to go to a lot of different locations. You even get to go on flying pirate ships. So this movie has some fun to it. There's some good banter back and forth between Mark Wahlberg and, of course, Tom Holland. So really fun character dynamics at play there. You got a couple little twists and turns there. Some things aren't perfectly adapted, like the puzzle elements are not the best. Those are a little out of place. But overall, you at least get a fun little adventure story. And it's a fun, silly action movie you can kind of turn your brain off with. And then racing into number three, you got Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and this movie does justice to the Sonic characters. You got Tails that has a good friendship with Sonic. You got Knuckles, voiced by Idris Elba, that has some really funny and powerful moments. And then you got Dr. Robotnik back. Jim Carrey is great in this role, so whimsical. And this movie has an awesome third act where it just goes super sane, and you're like, wow, this is awesome. So really good fun action-packed movie especially towards the end of it a lot of fun even though there are some moments in this movie that kind of pull you out here and there yes i'm talking about the dancing scene with tails i'm also talking about the wedding rom-com scene even though the scenes aren't terrible i get the purpose they serve it does feel like oh i want to get back to these sonic characters but when it gets back to those characters it's full force it is great excitement and it's a lot of fun that's why it has to be at third place have Detective Pikachu. This is the way to adapt the Pokemon movie. You got Ryan Reynolds voicing the Detective Pikachu and he's so charismatic and funny in this role. Really good banter back and forth between Pikachu and the human character. And this is a fun movie because you get to go along on this ride of a mystery. We're trying to solve the story with this detective and it is just very fun. You get to see a lot of great Pokemon designs and there's a good variety here. You're getting games you're getting Charizard, you're getting a funny moment with Mr. Mime. I mean, really, what else could you ask for out of a Pokemon movie? There's even some surprises thrown in there to kind of twist up the story along, and it's just a fun time. And at the end of the day, it brings the Pokemon world to life, allows you to connect to it and the human characters in this story, and it has some heart to it and feels by the end of the movie, what more could you ask for? It has begun! Mortal Kombat! Mortal Kombat! Do, 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 do,
we will have Mortal Kombat 1995. Yes, the best video game adapted movie of all time. This movie is a ton of fun. It does the characters justice and it shows the tournament off and it's so perfect. All these characters are so awesome. They're so unique, different personalities. You care about the heroes. You're rooting for them to win and they're the underdogs. They're the Rockies of this movie and awesome action fighting martial arts sequences in this movie. You got awesome mysticism good fantasy elements at play here some memorable lines yes it is just a fun time especially if you're a big fan of the Mortal Kombat games you're gonna love this movie this movie is just a love letter to the Mortal Kombat story so it does a great job it is not perfect by any means a couple little things here and there where they don't get the Sub-Zero Scorpion relationship perfect yeah I get it but for the story it did tell to me it worked out and all the powers were so cool to see on screen and to me, because a lot of the effects were practical, they still hold up to today. Even though they're a little cheesy here and there, it's still a lot of fun of a movie. And to me, it's a movie you can just turn on, listen to the soundtrack, get pumped up, and just have a great time with every time. That is why Mortal Kombat 95 is at number one. So that will do it for my top five favorite video game adapted movies of all time. If you have not seen my entire physical media collection of video game movies yet, it's gonna pop up on the screen. You'll definitely wanna click and watch that after this video is over. If you have seen that video, then definitely go to my playlist of rankings and check out some more ranking movie goodness. Also, if you're just discovering the channel for the very first time, make sure you subscribe right now. I'm gonna get you tons of rankings, movie reviews, movie news, movie hauls, unboxings, you name it. This is going to be your one-stop shop for movies and entertainment. So turn on that notification bell so you know when I post a video. So is mine. And if anyone can share out this video to anybody that you know loves movies and will watch this content, please do so. We're trying to build this mega league of film fans here and we're trying to get the 500 subscribers. So please share out this video. I would appreciate it. Also like the video. And this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.